Hello everyone, this is a Redmeister um, 304. Um, but this is not really a gaming uh, video. So, uh, literally, two nights ago, right here where I'm standing, was completely submerged in water. And to uh, put it in perspective, um, the river is over there in that gully. And where I'm standing is in between 32 feet above the water level where it normally is but in this town as you can see on the lines here on the windows in my town that's how far the water had come up it's uh, the most water that's ever been in this town in literally over a century. Luckily though, a few homes have been destroyed because of the torrential raining here in West Virginia, as well as all across the, uh, the southeast. But it's absolutely crazy to see how a little bit of rain can completely change everything. Here's the post office, or what used to be the post office. As you can see, that's how high in the building this water was. And this is literally the highest part of the town, not including not including the uh, where we're going. Um, it's absolutely horrendous, honestly. It's, it's mind-boggling to, mind -boggling to understand or even fathom how much water can be in one place at one time that there's not supposed to be water in. Literally, there has never been a flood in this county quite as devastating as this. I've talked to many people and it's been well over well over a century since this sort of flooding has happened I'm making this video for one reason one reason only is for the help um, hopefully um, since we finally got internet and phone service back up I'm going to be in touch with some of the larger YouTubers to try to get this video posted as well as the GoFundMe link shared for this one particular family. This house that I'm walking to right now, it's uh, it really hits home for me. Uh, right now I'm living with my, with my parents and we live up on a hill. However this, this right here is just uh, it's crazy. You see behind me all the debris from the river that had raised the mud, the gravel. It's not supposed to be here. This house right here, on the corner, I lived here for about five and a half years with a family um, that took me in as their own. Um, a mother, a daughter and a son. The daughter is physically unable to do the normal things that us physically able are to, able to do. <coughs> and uh, I lived here for five and a half years, you know, helping them out becoming part of their family because at the time I was having trouble with my parents and I was at that age where I just wanted to leave and so I did and I moved down here literally 300 feet from my home which I'm calling my parents home but this house that I'm about to show you is the reason I'm making this this video it's not for myself, it's not for 
it's not for notoriety or anything else. Um, because this family treated me like family, I'm going to try to help them out as physically as physically possible. Everything that I can do to help them out, to help them get relocated, um, not be able to everything financially, um, even though that is not very much for me uh, because I'm poor. Um, but uh, this house right here is the home of Vicky, Stacy, and Brock Allen. They took me in as their own. And li I lived here for five and a half years. They lived here ever since the late 90s. And have experienced one flood already. Not, uh, let alone this one. This is their wheelchair ramp that Stacy needs to access the house, or what used to be a house. As you see, it's completely off its foundation. It's it complete. I'm gonna walk around the house to show you a little bit better angle of this. I'm not even gonna go inside because I was already in there earlier. And me and my dad, we had got her power wheelchair out. Hopefully, with any luck, that dries out. We'll be able to clean it up, and it can be salvaged. So. Um, that won't be a major expense for them as as much as uh, everything else as far as relocating. Everything in their house has been moved around, shaken around. As you can see, this is the front porch, but it's off its foundation by at least five feet. The front yard, or what little of it was, right here is a creek. They had raised rapidly, it rose rapidly rather, to a great extent. And you see even water still inside the crawl space. The bricks have been cracked and moved. This is Brock's, the outside of Brock's room, as you can see. I mean, it completely tore this house up. And like I said, I mean, this literally hits home for me as a person that used to live here and also as a person that unfortunately watched everything happen before my eyes um, I'll show some pictures that I took the night of everything happening pardon me got across the fence here but I will take uh, I, I took some pictures of the water prior getting to the house and some pictures at night where the house should be, but it was covered. Where I'm standing right now is the, the neighbor's yard. And on the side of his house, you can literally see how far the water rose on top of it, as well as everything else around it. The tires, this house literally cracked off its foundation. To give you a little bit of a view, I'm going to try, I don't know if you're able to see in there, but that's what, left, that's what left is left of the kitchen, in this back bedroom. This is where I spent my, my days and nights. This is where I stayed, this is where I slept. This is where I spent 20, 24 hours a day just playing my Xbox, having some fun, um, being able to, you know, have fun with my friends online, but, I mean, this is an absolute tragedy. Yes, there's many other, there's many other houses, there's many other families. There's many other homes that have been uprooted. I don't say homes as the literal sense as this home, but I'm talking about the home, the family. A house is only a house. The inside of it is what makes it a home, family. You couldn't ask for any better people. 
other than lives here. This is the back bedroom where I used to live, and uh, it pulled away. This pulled away from the concrete floor, four to five feet. It's horrendous. I, I, I'm lost for words, to be honest about it. <clears throat> the amount of water that it had to rain for it to be this much of a, a tragedy. Um, like I said, I'm not making this video for notoriety. I'm not making this video for funds for myself. I'm literally making this video to get the word out. To help. Not me. Not, not, not my personal personal pocket. Matter of fact, I won't even see the money. Because the GoFundMe link in the description is set up directly to go to them. It is in their account. I spoke with them earlier and they had already set up a GoFundMe link to share on Facebook with friends to get the word out that they will be displaced. And I wanted to help out the best way I could. And with that being trying to um, YouTube being the venue that I use nearly on a daily basis it'd be the best way for me to get my word out to get their word out see their car was completely submerged where I'm standing right now the water was over my head that's never happened here ever but to get back on to what I was saying please help any and all donations will be greatly appreciated from me and my family as well as the Allens. It's it's heart wrenching to see a family like that with an she's gonna kill me for saying this, but an elderly woman, I mean she's almost sixty. But I, I treat her like a mother. She's been my mother. She's been there for me for seven, eight years. Ever since I moved in, they took me in as their own. And this is the best way I know to help them. I will help them all I can physically. I've already went inside earlier with my dad. Like I said, we got the, her wheelchair out and hopefully it dries out and is able to be salvaged. We got their pictures and some other important things before crackhead looters come and completely tear the place apart. They lost everything. Everything of any worth. TVs, video games, important documents, their turtle. They even lost their turtle. His name was Michelangelo. Named after a Ninja Turtle, which ironically enough, he floated down the creek, apparently. And he may end up turning into a Ninja Turtle with all the muck and the sewage in the water. I understand it's no time to joke. Uh, this is the most somber video that I've ever made. And hopefully, hopefully, you all will be able to understand what kind of tragedy has hit my town. Literally 300 feet from my foot, my foot of my door. Luckily we live on a hill. But some, especially in this town, not so fortunate. People driving by think I'm an idiot holding a camera in front of my face. But this video needs to be made. 
so much metal in my shoes. It's ridiculous. Um, many houses on this road where I'm standing have been covered in water. Maybe even looted. But mostly just completely ravaged by the amount of water and debris that's hit the town. You can see how high I'm holding the camera at head height. And you can see the brown along the the tree line of how high the water had rose. Even on this tree, that's probably twelve feet in the air. Mailboxes, tons of tires. Now obviously they didn't land right here perfectly, but they had some help. The amount of mud and muck that is here. It's unreal. I don't even I don't even know how else to explain it. It's completely unreal. The playground where a lot of kids shot hoops after after class and everything. That hoop was completely submerged in water. Completely. It's it's crazy. So, hopefully, if I don't fall here on the mud, hopefully, this video gets out that this little town in West Virginia, this one family in particular, there's tons of others that need help. And I understand that, and I've been out there helping all I could. All I can. I'll be doing the same tomorrow. But this this is a this is urgent. A home, a family completely displaced, without the means of relocating. They live on a fixed income. It's. It'll be hard for them to find a place with their income. And with this GoFundMe link in the description below, hopefully your 50 cents, your dollar, your two dollars, everything counts and everything will be headed directly to them. No ifs, ands, or buts. I will be taking nothing for myself. Like I said, Everything set up for them. So please go to the description in the and go to the link in the description rather. And please, anything that you can to help the Allens, help them relocate as their house has been completely destroyed. I appreciate everybody that's watched this whole video. And from the bottom of my heart, I do appreciate anything any prayers, any donations, anything sent to help relocate my family.